Imagine a plane that could soar through the skies like a ghost, completely undetected. Sounds impossible, right? Well, back in World War II, Germany was on the brink of turning this wild idea into reality. The Nazis were hard at work on a groundbreaking aircraft called the Horten HO-229. This marvel of engineering had some incredible design features aimed at evading radar detection, making it a potential game changer in aerial warfare. The origins of the Horton HO-229 trace back to the innovative efforts of the Horton brothers, Raymar and Walter. Their interest in flying wing designs began before the war with early experiments in the 1930s. In 1943, Nazi Field Marshal Hermann Göring issued a challenge to the German aviation industry. He ordered the development of a bomber capable of carrying a 1,000 kilogram bomb load over 1,000 kilometers at a speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour. The Horton brothers proposed a jet-powered single pilot flying wing, leading to the development of the Horton HO-229. The first prototype named the HO-229V1 was an unpowered glider that successfully demonstrated the feasibility of the design and flight tests conducted in 1944. Encouraged by these results, the brothers proceeded to create the HO-229V2, which incorporated two Junkers Jumo 004 jet engines. The V2 made its first flight in February 1945 and showed promising performance. However, during its third test flight, an engine failure led to a crash that killed the test pilot. Despite the crash, its potential impressed the Luftwaffe, who ordered further prototypes and potential production run. However, the war's progression and the eventual Allied advance into Germany halted further development. The plane was the third prototype and was intended to be the test bed for the first production model. It was never completed, as it was captured by U.S. forces in April 1945. The aircraft is currently on display at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. The HO-229 had several groundbreaking technical features and innovations for its time. Its most distinctive feature was its all-wing design with minimized drag. The aircraft structure combined steel tubing and wooden components. The center section was made from welded steel tubing, while the other wing spars were constructed from pine and skinned with thin plywood panels. These panels were glued together with a mixture of sawdust and fireproof paint layers designed to absorb radar waves, reducing the aircraft's radar cross-section RCS. Originally intended to be powered by BMW 003 turbojet engines, the Horton brothers had to substitute these with Junkers Jumo 004 engines due to availability issues. The substitution still allowed the aircraft to achieve remarkable performance, capable of reaching potentially exceeding speeds of 600 miles per hour, significant for its era. The aircraft featured a single main spar that penetrated the jet engine inlets and a secondary spar for mounting the elevons. The aircraft was equipped with a retractable tricycle landing gear and used parts from the Heinkel HE-177. It also features a primitive ejection seat for the pilot and a specially developed pressure suit to protect the pilot at high altitudes. A drogue parachute was used to slow the aircraft during landing, an important feature for the time. The development of the Horton HO-229 faced numerous challenges and issues. One major challenge was the instability inherent in the tailless flying wing design. The Horton brothers tried to address this by extending and thinning the wing to reduce drag and spread the aircraft's mass more evenly. Despite these efforts, stability remained a persistent issue. The design managed to cancel out some yawning problems, but achieving reliable flight performance was difficult. Technical limitations also played a role in its development. The prototype V2, which was jet-powered, suffered a significant setback when one of its engines caught fire and caused a fatal crash. This accident underscored the risks and technical challenges of developing such an advanced aircraft during wartime conditions. Additionally, there was a lack of concrete evidence to support claims that the aircraft was intentionally designed with stealth capabilities. Production and logistical challenges further complicated the plane's development. By the time the aircraft was added to Germany's emergency fighter program, the war situation had worsened. 
While the HO229 was ahead of its time, it wasn't designed to be stealthy. The Nazis focused on speed and agility. The US developed the B-2 stealth bomber decades later, in the 1980s, using advanced materials and design techniques to create a truly stealthy aircraft. The Horton HO229 was designed with a flying wing configuration, eliminating the tail and fuselage to create a smoother, more aerodynamically efficient shape. Tests on a replica of the HO229 indicated a 20% reduction in radar detection range compared to conventional fighters of its time. This means the plane would have provided the enemy with less warning time before it approached. Modern bombers like the B-2 Spirit also use a flying wing design to minimize radar detection by reflecting radar waves away from the source, making them less visible to enemy radar systems. They have an even smaller RCS, making them extremely difficult to detect by contemporary radar standards. The plane's flying wing design faced stability issues, which the Horton brothers attempted to mitigate with a bell-shaped wing. Modern aircraft use advanced computer systems to manage flight stability and control, something that was not available during the HO-229's development. The B-2 Spirit is powered by four General Electric F-118GE 100 turbofan engines, allowing it to fly at high subsonic speeds over long distances with a significant payload. The HO-229 never saw combat due to the end of World War II, but its design influenced future aircraft. The B-2 Spirit and other modern aircraft like the F-117 Nighthawk benefited from the flying wing concept and stealth principles pioneered by the HO-229. While the HO-229 was innovative for its time, it faced limitations due to technological constraints of the era, such as primitive jet engines and the use of materials available during World War II. The B-2 Spirit benefits from decades of technological advancements, including advanced avionics, materials science, and computer-aided design. The HO-229 had a significant legacy and impact on future aircraft designs, particularly in aviation technology and flying wing concepts. Although it was not intentionally designed as a stealth aircraft, its shape and construction inadvertently offered reduced radar visibility. Modern tests by Northrop Grumman demonstrate that it performed much better than contemporary aircraft. The use of wood and other non-metal materials in the HO-229 was partly due to wartime shortages, but also contributed to the innovative construction techniques. This approach highlighted the potential for using composite materials in aircraft, a practice now common in modern aviation. And that's the wild tale of how the Nazis' relentless pursuit of military supremacy accidentally birthed stealth technology. Their goals were anything but noble, yet their innovation set the stage for today's cutting-edge aviation and military tech. Do you know any other quirky or lesser-known tech breakthroughs from World War II? Drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more intriguing stories like this.